Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of the thigh bone, also known as femur. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Femur is divided into three parts: the proximal end, shaft, and the distal end. We will discuss each of these parts separately and see what all anatomical features are present in these parts. Starting with the proximal end, the head forms more than half a sphere and is directed medially upwards and slightly forward. A roughened pit is situated just below and behind the center of the head, called as the fovea for ligament of head. Let's have a look at these parts. This is the proximal end of the femur bone. This sphere which you can see is the head of femur and this pit is the fovea capitis or the fovea for ligament of head. The neck connects the head with the shaft and its anterior surface is flat and meets the shaft at the intertrochanteric line. The posterior surface meets the shaft at the intertrochanteric crest. Other than these, there are two trochanters present in proximal end, known as greater trochanter and lesser trochanter. The greater trochanter is large quadrangular prominence located at the upper part of the junction of the neck with the shaft, and the lesser trochanter is a conical eminence directed medially and backwards. Let's have a look at these parts. This again is the proximal end of femur. This little part which you can see is the intertrochanteric crest. Above this is the greater trochanter. As you can see this is an expanded prominence. This area in the circle is the lesser trochanter. This completes the first part that is the proximal end and now we move to the next part that is the shaft. The medial and lateral borders are rounded. But the posterior border is in the form of a broad roughened ridge called as linea aspera and there are two lips that comprise the linea aspera that are medial lip and lateral lip the lateral lip ends near the gluteal tuberosity in the upper one third of the shaft two lips of the linea aspera diverge the medial lip is called as the pectineal line in the lower one third of the shaft also the two lips of the linea aspera diverge and the space between these two lips is called as the popliteal surface it seems confusing right let's have a look at all these parts to understand it better this is the posterior view of femur here the medial lip is present and here the lateral lip is present these are visible better when seen on a real bone Both of these lips comprise the linea aspera. In the upper one third, the lips diverge, and the medial lip in this area is called as the pectineal line. The lateral lip ends near the gluteal tuberosity, which is present here. Lastly, in the lower part, these lips diverge, and this area in between is called as the popliteal surface. This completes the second part of femur that is the shaft and lands us to the last part the distal end. The lower end of the distal end is widely expanded to form two condyles medial condyle and lateral condyle. Anteriorly the two condyles are united and form the patellar surface. Posteriorly the condyles are separated by a deep gap called as intercondylar fossa. Above the lateral and medial condyles there are two epicondyles present which are lateral epicondyle and medial epicondyle Let's have a look at these parts This is the anterior view of distal end and this surface which is white is the patellar surface This is the posterior view of the distal end This red shaded part is the medial condyle and lateral to it is the lateral condyle This blue shaded part is a fossa called as the intercondylar fossa. Above the medial condyle there is this medial epicondyle and above the lateral condyle is the lateral epicondyle. This completes all the parts of the distal end. Now let's see how does the bones of the lower limb look. This is the head of femur which articulates with the acetabulum of hip bone. 
This circle which you can see is the patella bone also called as the knee bone. So that is it for today guys don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.